Hey, okay, we're going to make some business cards, I guess. Uh, we're open up here already in Microsoft Word. Uh, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to come up here, click on the file, and I come down to New. And when we do that, look at all these different templates we can download. Uh, anything from books to business cards, calendars, there's a good one. We can do cards and certificates, on and on and on. It's got a whole bunch of stuff here, but right now we're going to uh, look at some business cards. Okay, uh, right here, I'm going to double click this print business cards. Got to find which ones we want first. I, um, I use template 8371. There's a whole bunch of different card styles here, business cards, that you can uh, look at, but make it simple. So I'm just going to type in uh, 8371. I'm going to locate all the templates that are available for this uh, Avery product that I use here. And there's a whole bunch of them here. Ideally, you want to see the ones that are um, have 10 cards per sheet down through here and I think we'll uh, maybe look at this one here all right 10 cards 8371 template okay and I'm going to click download to get the template from Avery it's through Microsoft Word but it's an Avery template and it's downloading the template for us and there it is it automatically comes up right in Microsoft Word Okay, so now that the template's up, um, something I want, want you to look at up here, across the top menus here, different things we can do with this. Uh, first thing we want to do is come all the way up here and click on every Avery templates, okay? We're going to make all cards the same, okay? But first we want you to look at what's available on each individual card here. You put in the company name, uh, the person's first and last name and the title, telephone number, address, even uh, change the picture and that's what we're going to take a look at here so first of all I'm going to click on all the cards are going to be the same okay when you click add on a pop up menu comes here where you can uh, fill in all the uh, specifics right here company name that's the first thing uh, highlighted we're going to change that to what else of course Spell that right? I guess I did. Uh, I'm going to put in here my name. Or should I put, uh, let me make this better here. That's close enough. And the title is um, A Proud Owner. And a phone number. Here's my number. Ready? Hey, give me a call sometime. And you just leave this other stuff blank. Uh, nothing will appear. I'm going to put in here uh, have a fax number so I'm you know blank that out and here's my website address and I'll just put that in to see where it shows up on the card and my email is Click OK, see what happens. I'll be darned. They're all the same. There's me, the owner. There's my phone number. I live in the mountains. Homebaseprinting.com. And there's my email. Looks good. And they're all the same. The only thing I don't like, <laughs> this picture's got to go, huh? All right, so we're going to click on the picture. I'm going to come back up here and say, change all the pictures. 
what happens then? Alright, now it wants us to find the picture we're looking for. I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to click on my logo. Click insert. I'll be darned. Huh, this is a first, huh? You've never seen any glitches in a program? Well, you got one now. Let's just click that up and move it up to here. See what it does for us. And it looks like we changed all the pictures. That was pretty simple, huh? Other than that, that little glitch. You now, once we uh, once we have all the uh, cards laid out, come up here to File and click Save As. And we're going to click on. Um, how about if we do this? We're going to save it as. Wise Mountain Outfitters LMO Business Cards. Click Save. 